So we've all been there so frustrated because we've worked on this project for countless of hours, even days sometimes, and we think we've got the perfect edit and we go back in to make a few minor tweaks and realize that we're missing footage and we have no idea how this happened. We don't know exactly what to do. All we know is that our project is due and it is almost ruined because half of our footage is there in the timeline and half of our footage is not in the timeline. So in this video, I'm going to show you in a few simple steps of how you can find your files and relink them back to your project in Final Cut Pro. What's up, I'm Alon and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you'd like to learn how to make videos or if you're interested in how to level up your videos through tutorials, consider subscribing and clicking the alert icon to be notified when new content is available. So let's dive into how we can easily fix the missing files in Final Cut Pro. So once we're in Final Cut Pro, we can do a couple of different things to try to fix this and make this work. And so in your browser, you can highlight this clip and right click on it to try to reveal it in the finder. If reveal in finder is grayed out, it's because the clip itself has been moved to a different location and Final Cut Pro can't really find that link. I typically leave my files in place. There is an option to where you can actually copy the files into your actual library, but again, that takes up massive amounts of storage, especially when you have a huge project. Another issue that you may run into is when you have a bunch of clips in the browser and you're not really sure which clip is actually in the timeline. So what you can do is go down into the timeline and choose the clip and right click on that and then choose reveal in browser. So what this is actually going to do is going to highlight the clip in the browser, but it's also going to highlight the section that was actually used within the timeline. The next thing we want to do is go to file and we're going to choose relink files. And we're also going to choose original media. Now another screen pulls up and basically the screen is telling you the file that we've selected, it's missing. And there's an option down here below to locate this file. And so we're gonna click on the file itself and we're gonna click on locate selected. Once this window comes up, it gives you the opportunity to relocate the file manually. And I'm gonna go into my folders here and choose the appropriate folder of where this file should be. And it's going to be under this set one folder. And this is going to be clip 2083 going to click here and I'm going to click on choose now the window comes back open and it tells us that one file of one file was matched and so we know that we found this file and it is a perfect match and the only thing we have to do at this point is click on relink files once we do that voila the clip is now back into the timeline. It's also back in the browser and we can actually see the footage. When it comes to file management, it's really important to have some sort of backup because these files that are recorded in today's cameras are sometimes very large and they can take up lots of data, lots of storage on your internal hard drive. So picking up one of these guys is really important because you can get lots of storage on these particular drives. This is the Samsung SSD hard drive. This is a T7 and this one's the T5. The difference between these two hard drives, this one's a little faster than the T5. So I really highly recommend getting one of these. This will allow you to have some sort of backup. Now we still have a problem because we're still missing several clips that go along to this project and there are some important clips and so we can really do the same process over and to speed this up we're going to select multiple clips so that we can do this a lot faster than we did before. So let's go ahead and click on several of these clips here and we're going to just hold the command key to allow us to do so and we're going to, go and select all the ones that are still missing within the browser. Now we're going to choose file and we're also going to go back to relink files and original media. The same window is going to pull up, but this time all of the files that we selected are listed and are also listed as missing. We're going to highlight all of these here and we're going to click on locate selected. We get the same window and all we have to do this time is just choose one of the clips and Final Cut Pro is smart enough to select all of the clips to find. So we're going to click on choose. And this time we see at the very bottom in this section here that four out of six files match. So we have four of the files, but two are still missing. And we'll go ahead and 
choose relink files. So the last two files here are still missing, but it did find the other ones that we had within the timeline. The other thing that I'm constantly doing is moving files back and forth from my network drive or to my hard drive. This allows me to maximize my storage. Also allows me to create a regular backup if necessary. So now we need to redo this process because two of the clips were not in the same folder as the other four. We're gonna go back to the browser and we're going to click on the remaining two files and then go back to file and we're going to choose relink files, original media, there are other two files there. We're going to go ahead and highlight both of those and, and choose locate selected. And we have to navigate to the appropriate folder. And once we get to that particular folder, we, and there are all the files and just click on one and then choose those files. And at the very bottom, we have two out of two files match and we're going to choose relink files. And now we have completed the process of allowing us to relink all of our files on our timeline. And we have fixed the issue that we were facing of thinking that our project was completely ruined. I really hope that you found value in this video. If you did, please hit the like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to learn how I handle my file management system, do leave a comment down below. I would love to be able to connect with you and answer any questions that you may have. Like always stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.